Well, so I'm into sum up at the end of day two. Not 90 for six, just the lead of uh, 36. But it's been a tremendous day for Essex and for you personally, hasn't it? Your reflections on that. Yeah, I think the batting was quite tough. The wicket uh, was moving around even with the old ball. Um, we always knew that we were going to lose wickets in clusters because it's difficult to get in. So when you sort of managed to get in, you needed to, to score as many as you could. So we chatted this morning about how vital every run was going to be and Sids and I managed to string together a partnership and chip away at the deficit and eventually get a bit of a lead. So yeah, it was I think important that we got a bit of a lead uh, and then we probably weren't at our best at the start of the innings but managed to sort of claw it back and knew as well that when they lost wickets they were going to lose a whole bunch quickly which is exactly what happened. So. I think we've done really well to get them six wickets down, but there's going to be a lot of hard work tomorrow morning to make sure that they don't get away um, and that we're not chasing too many. Let's just focus on a couple of those points which uh, you uh, sort of glossed over really as you would do in your self-effacing manner. Uh, 43 in that 81 stand with Peter Siddle, the highest of the match. And uh, that, for a start, was a turning point, wasn't it? it was, you mentioned there, important to get that first innings lead, which you did. Uh, and then of course you come into your own with the, with the ball, um, got it four for three in 21 balls. Uh, again, another complete game changer and uh, gave Essex the complete initiative. Um, it seemed to turn from, from the mo first moment that you came onto bowl, was that true? Yeah, it was turning. I don't think I got the ball in the right areas against the left-handers. Uh, gave away a lot of runs, square of the wicket. But sort of managed to pull myself towards myself and, and get the ball in the right area and slowly but surely things started to happen. Two exceptional catches by the skipper, Ryan Tender Scarta. So yeah, I think, like I said, we always knew that they were going to fall in clusters and when we had them against the ropes we needed to make sure that we could sort of squeeze out as many wickets as we possibly could. So I think we did that really well. Um, and when I was looking to sort of attack, I think the seamers did extremely well to just sort of sit in and try and hit the right length and keep them quiet from the other side. So I think maybe that's where we've been lacking in the last sort of while in our four-day cricket is being able to bowl in partnerships and I think we did that very well today.